guys were badass. All right, guys, here we go. Bad action. Jake is tasked with taking care of the cadets at the Chateau Dome, alongside with Lambert. Marshal on deck. He's there to put him through the works, the same works he went through before he left, and to just kind of help motivate them to becoming the best they can be. Bunch of criminals. <laughs> You've got Jake and Lambert, and that's one world that's happening, but you've also got this other world of these young teenagers that are also so passionate and driven and want to fight. This is Amar and Amani. Stand by for assist. And cut the rehearsal. I guess that's not run all oh, the <laughs> During the first week, Steven sat us down, table reads down, and he was like, I want to give you guys the creative freedom to develop these backstories for yourselves. Sydney was attacked, and Tahima's family were directly affected by that, and he has a very personal vendetta that he wants to settle with these kaijus. My character, Vic, she is very tough. She lost both of her parents in the last kaiju attack, and it took her a lot of effort to get into Moilan, and it has become everything she has. Make it a big one. When Amara comes into the group, that's why she becomes so protective of it, not because she's a bully. It's perfect hug size. I'd imagine it like kids who were just being born around 9-11. They grew up in this world of kind of this terror and this fear, but they didn't really understand the gravity of the situation. But for them, they've also been kind of raised to be revved up and on edge and ready to fight at any given moment. Oh, and then we'll do that part next. We've been spending a lot of time together on an offset, but mostly offset because there's a lot of us that aren't from around here, so we depend on each other in that way. We got along real quick. Every day was really fun. And it was just like how the cadets were. We have potlucks together, and we go to karaoke together. And yeah, we just go and have life talks. <laughs> We're all old souls. <laughs> Cadets. Steven, when putting together this project, he made sure this cast was very diverse. We're all from different places. We all communicate differently and have different languages and accents. What? Everyone deserves equal representation. And I think it's so cool because a kid can look up and look at a screen and go, oh my god, they're just like me. I'm from Ukraine. We have actors from China, Japan, America. And we became quite a family. When we're off set, we always make sure that we're connected. That's also another thing with this whole cadet family. We're all very positive-minded, and everybody pushes everyone to be better. And that's what family is, isn't it? Look, it's like one big happy family. Oh, okay. Just imagine all these kids who love the same thing you do, and we're all the same age, and we're staying in a hotel for six months together. I mean, just imagine. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's all started from the training together. We we're all like, let's just do it together. And then gradually we just became this family. That's it. We train every day together, and that creates a bond too. When you physically have to train with somebody for months on end, you create a bond. Working out helped immensely doing that. Getting a bunch of young people in a gym together, automatically that just starts to come out. I remember getting an email from Steven being like, hey guys, since you're cadets, like we could start working out, and you know, we've got a trainer. And I'm panicking inside because, like, I'm sticks and bones. So I was like, I was freaking out. We had some orders from Steven to build our physiques to a certain level. How is he doing that? And I'm sure you guys are going to intercut Naomi, our trainer, working us out because we are drenched in sweat by the end of those. You guys think you're done? We had about four months to prepare with everybody, and we trained every day, weights and cardio. It's burning hard. <laughs> we worked on diet as well, which was uh, was tricky here or there. Let's go eat. Yeah. <laughs> she would be next to us, spotting us, helping us, preparing us, not physically, but mentally as well, telling us that we're strong, we can do it, there's only a few more left, pushing us to our limits. Raise your arms up! Some of our cadets had a lot of compod movements. You have this arm connected to the back of you that's screwed in, these harnesses that are in front limiting your movements on top of the costume, which is a scuba suit with a lot of armor on it. How's it feel? <laughs> so the heat all of a sudden kicks in and you kind of get a little claustrophobic. Sorry, Steven, I can't hear what you're saying. And then the treadmill starts moving and you get to time everything. Every time we kick, every time we run, we gotta be synced. You guys want to have the match? Here we go, cameras going up. And action! One, and two, and three, and four! The best way to describe it is like a dance. And, 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 oh, 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 secret sauce at the end! I love it! So 
I've been watching movies like this since I was five years old. So to walk into the actual world and see the detail and feel the actual energy on set is amazing. Don't watch the extra features first. <laughs> we all have this little hero thing inside of us and we all wanted to be the hero, to fight the monsters, to save the world. So I think it's just very exciting for everybody. It was like a dream come true to me, being a hero. I think that's every young kid's dream. We're coming together for a good cause, to save the world. I think I could get used to this. I have to pinch myself every time to remind myself that I'm here to do a job, you know? Because it doesn't feel like a job. It just, it just feels amazing when you walk on set. It's been magical for me, and I'll never forget it. So thank you. Yeah.